The death penalty has been completely abolished in all European countries except for Belarus and Russia. Russia which has a moratorium and has not conducted an execution since September 1996. Belarus and Russia are not among the European Union, but geographically they are in Europe. The absolute ban on the death penalty is enshrined in both the Charter of Fundamental Rights of the European Union and two widely adopted protocols of the European Convention on Human Rights of the Council of Europe, and is thus considered a central value. Of all modern European countries, San Marino, Portugal and the Netherlands were the first to abolish capital punishment. Whereas only Belarus still practices capital punishment in some form or another. In 2012, Latvia became the last EU member state to abolish capital punishment in wartime. As of 2019, in Europe, the death penalty for both civilian and military crimes has been abolished in all countries except Belarus. In Russia, the death penalty has been indefinitely suspended since 1996 and has not been used since either 1996 or 1999. Except for Belarus, which carried out two executions in 2019, the last execution occurred in Ukraine in 1997. Capital punishment is a legal penalty in Belarus. At least four executions were carried out in the country in 2018 and two in 2019. It has been a part of the country's legal system since gaining independence from the Soviet Union on the 26th of December 1991. The current national constitution prescribes this punishment for grave crimes. Later laws have clarified the specific crimes for which capital punishment can be used. The death penalty can be imposed for crimes that occur against the state or against individuals. A few non-violent crimes can also be punishable by death. As of 2021, Belarus is the only country in Europe that continues to carry out the death penalty. Following a referendum on the issue, the Belarusian government took steps to change the way capital punishment is imposed and carried out. International organizations, such as the United Nations, have criticized the methods Belarus uses when carrying out capital punishment. The use of capital punishment is one factor keeping the country out of the Council of Europe. Most of the death penalty convictions were for murder committed under aggravating circumstances. Court proceedings involving capital cases must involve a collegial consideration, consisting of one judge and two people's assessors. The people's assessors are chosen from the general population, similar to the jury system. Over the years, the number of offenses eligible for the death penalty and the type of convicts eligible for it have been reduced. In 1993, for economic crimes that would have resulted in death sentences during the Soviet era were removed from the list of capital offenses by a vote of parliament and were replaced by prison terms. Without parole, Although the total number of categories of crime qualifying for capital punishment declined during this time, Presidential Decree No. 21, issued on 21 October 1997, added terrorism to the list of capital offenses. When the Criminal Code was updated in 1999, the number of capital offenses was further reduced. This reduction was assisted by the introduction of life imprisonment in December 1997. Since March 1, 1994, 
women are ineligible for capital punishment and persons under the age of 18 at the time of the crime or over 65 at the time of sentencing have been exempt from capital punishment since January 2001. Those who are mentally ill may have their death sentence commuted. Under Article 84 of the Constitution, the President may grant pardons to convicted citizens. From June 30, 2003 to June 30, 2005, President Alexander Lukashenko granted two pardons to death row inmates and denied one such request. In 2000, the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe condemned in the strongest possible terms the executions in Belarus and deplores the fact that Belarus is currently the only country in Europe where the death penalty is enforced and, moreover, is regularly and widely enforced. Belarus is the only European country to have carried out executions in the 21st century. European Council members suggested in 2001 that Belarus abolish capital punishment before it can apply for membership in the Council. Belarus signed the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights in 1973. This convention, however, does not abolish the death penalty, but it imposes certain conditions on its implementation and use. Before being executed, all prisoners on death row are transferred to Minsk Detention Center, in the country's capital Minsk. The method used to carry out the sentence is execution by shooting. The executioner is a member of the Committee for the Execution of Sentences, which also chooses the area where the execution will take place. On the day of execution, the convict is transported to a secret location where he is told by officials that all appeals have been rejected. The convict is then blindfolded and taken to a nearby room, where two staffers force him to kneel in front of a bullet backstop. The executioner then shoots the convict in the back of his head, with a PB9 pistol equipped with a suppressor. The whole procedure starting with the announcement about denied appeals and ending with the gunshot, lasts no longer than two minutes. After the sentence is carried out, a prison doctor and other officials certify that the execution has been performed and a death certificate is prepared. The remains of the condemned are buried secretly, and the family is notified that the execution has taken place. About 130 executions took place at the prison between December 1996 and May 2001. The exact number of people executed in Belarus is not known, since the last documents released by the Belarusian government were in 2006. Belarusian private news agency records 278 executions from 1992 to 2010 with two additional men under death sentence in September 2010. Due to some of the practices of the MVD, such as the non-disclosure of the graves of the executed, this is a violation of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe protocol to make information about capital punishment open to the public. In a 1996 referendum, one of the seven questions asked was about abolishing the death penalty. According to the results of this referendum, 80.44% of Belarusian were against abolition. However, at the time of the referendum, the longest available prison sentence was 15 years. Since then the sentence of lifelong imprisonment was introduced. There have not been more recent surveys to determine whether the change in maximum prison sentence affected public sentiment about the death penalty. On March 11, 2004, 
the Constitutional Court of the Republic of Belarus came to the conclusion that two articles of the criminal code were incompatible with the Constitution of Belarus. The court stated that either the President or the National Assembly could make the decision to suspend or completely abolish the death penalty. Subsequently, in October 2005, the Parliament adopted an amendment to the Criminal Code declaring that the continued use of the death penalty was on a temporary basis only. Thank you for watching Death Row.